Welcome to my channel. I'm Ms. Rex and I'm. This is Daily Rambles. Today we're going over Arrow again. And this is episode 13 and it's called Betrayal. And of course I got all my notes for her. So let's just get started. Shall we? And also got a haircut. I got a haircut. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. So um, we start off with this guy. He gets out of jail. I don't think I, they ever say his name or I wasn't paying that much attention. Um, and he gets out of jail and he goes to his lawyer's house and kills him. Then we hit to a flashback scene where Oliver shows up to an abandoned plane. And you get Slade's intro for that. Almost tries to kill him but doesn't. And then we go back to present day. Where Lance is mad because his supervisor is telling him to move on from a vigilante case because he's getting a little paranoid, a little, you know, he's, he's taking it to, it's hard to explain. He's like, he's taking it too seriously. Anyway, he's like, in fact, in fact, intervening with his real life. Okay, I might have to edit that. Mm. And then um, we pop up to the scene with Moira is shocked about the notebook, but covers her track. I think when um, when Oliver asked about it, yeah. And so, um, but she covers her tracks very well in this in that scene. And then we go to Diggle questioning Moira's motives to Oliver, and Oliver's like, "Shut your face, or I'll kill you." Uh huh. And then Lance decides to use Laurel because he put a tracker on the burner phone that Oliver gave to him. And then um, Dig is driving around Mora for the week. And <laughs> um, when he dropped her off, he kind of he followed her in there, and there was some lady's 50th birthday party. And he was like, uh, "Where's the bathroom?" And she's like, and the, her and the are like, huh. and Moore's like, uh-uh, don't do it, mm -mm. <laughs> So that was like a really funny moment, which I really like in, um, in the show. And then the cops show up to Laurel's to meet with Arrow. And like, here's the thing, so like, what busy Laurel called um, the Arrow. And he shows up, or they're, they're calling him the Vigilante, but I just say an arrow anyway. So anyway, um, Laurel um, calls him on his phone to get information about something. And so Laurel, um, so the tracker picks up, and then they figure out where he's where he's going to be. And they use rubber bullets because they don't want to use real bullets because Laurel's there. Anyway, so Arrow shows up, then he figures out it's a scam, and he gets away. Or a setup. I don't know why I said a scam. A setup. And so, um, let's see, then Arrow um, gets away and knocks out Lance. And then it's Lance versus the Lance where Laurel is so mad at Quentin. So mad at her dad. And then uh, Tommy and Laurel have a fight because uh, he didn't know anything about Arrow either. And she gets he gets mad at her because he... She's been doing this for weeks, and he's fed up with it. And he's like, you didn't tell me. You're supposed to tell me stuff if we're being boyfriend and girlfriend and living together. So anyway. And so then the guy who busted out of jail, he wants to kidnap Laura because he, um, she is connected to the Arrow. And the reason why he even knew that is because of the setup that Quentin did. So, um... Then Ollie is doing actual work on the club and stuff, so he's trying to butt out a little bit. Then we have a flashback scene where Slade and Oliver are slightly training. Basically, Slade's trying to measure Oliver up to, to see where he is. Then we go back to present day where Laurel gets kidnapped. And then we cut to um, where Diggle is still driving Mora around. 
but he does follow her again and um more meets with malcolm but um dig is in like the supply closet or the uh, custodian's closet and is trying to listen in and then malcolm's um bodyguard comes in and busts him but he covers it with saying it's a cigarette because he has cigarettes in his pocket so then there's that and then Tommy goes to apologize to Laurel at her apartment, but um, he finds the most apartment. So he um, so he sees this. Oh, he sees an arrow in the wall, and it has a recording on it. So he takes it to Quentin Lance, and then and then Lance makes a phone call, which he doesn't want to make to the arrow to let him know what's happening, so they can go get him, and. Then Diggle gets out, gives Oliver very damning evidence against Moira because uh, she's talking about, like, I didn't make the usual threats. So, um, but we, we couldn't hear Malcolm, so they don't know who the other person is, and the we, the audience, knows it's Malcolm, but they don't know. And we have another flashback scene where um, basically Slade ties up Oliver into a chair and he wants to kill him because he doesn't get weighed down by anybody because he's trying to get off the island and there's like a plane coming in soon. But um, Oliver shows a backbone to Slade where he kind of almost dislocates his wrist trying to get um, free from the plastic um, cuffs. You know, those zip tie things that, that hold your hands like that. So he shows backbone. So, um, yeah, then we go back to present day, and Arrow and Lance team up against Laurel's uh, kidnappers. And then um, after that's happened, Laurel is just shutting out Quentin for a little bit, just because like she's been for a lot, and it's basically his fault that she was even in the situation in the first place. So then Oliver is deciding to distance himself. Um, with uh, Laurel as well because he's saying like, oh, I'm a threat to her, so I gotta stay away from her. And then we have a flashback scene where Alfred gets mad at Slade because of the uh, mask, because um, he has the same mask as the other guy that tortured him, but it's a different person. Uh, and the final scene is Moira gets a visit from the Arrow. Which that's how they leave it. And it's like, Mara Queen, you have failed this city. So I'm very excited to see what's going to happen next. And this episode gets at another A. Plus. Great character developments. I love the dynamics that are happening. Some are good. Most, actually, most of them were all good in this one. So very good job. And I just love the show so much. I, I keep saying it in every episode, but or each video. It continually gets better for me, and I really do like it a lot. So, fight scenes are great. Uh, even like the production's really good on the show, like really good. So anyway, that's gonna do it from me. So, like, comment, subscribe, comment down below if you want to see anything else that's awesome. There's music, TV, movies. Let me know. <laughs> Just let me know down below and subscribe for more awesomeness. And I'll see you on my next video. And I got down during nine minutes. That's a record for me. Bye, everybody.